Luke 24, the resurrection. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared, and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel. And as they were frightened and bowed down their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He's not here, but he has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and on the third day rise. And they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to the, all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna, and Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them, who told these things to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they didn't believe them. But Peter rose and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen cloths by themselves, and he went home marvelling at what had happened. That very next day, sorry, that very day, two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and they were talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognising him. And he said to them, What's this conversation that you're holding with each other as you walk? And they stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, named Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only visitor to, to Jerusalem who doesn't know the things that have happened here in these days? And he said to them, What things? Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, a man who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it's now the third day since these things happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. They were at the tomb early in the morning. And when they did not find the body, they came back, saying that they had even seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those that were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said. They didn't see it. And he said to them, O foolish ones, of, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not, nece was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter his glory. And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So they drew near to the village to which they were going. He acted as if he were going further, but they urged him strongly to stay. Stay with us, for it's towards evening and the day is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them and their eyes were opened and they recognised him and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, did not our hearts burn within us when he talked to us on the road while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose the same hour and returned to Jerusalem. They found the eleven and those who were with them gathered together, saying, the Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road and how he was known to them in the breaking of bread. As they were talking about these things, Jesus himself stood amongst them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were startled and frightened and thought they saw a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet. That is my I myself, touch me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet, and while they disbelieved, and while they still disbelieved for joy and were marvelling, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? 
they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it before them. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. And he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written, The child the Christ should suffer, and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up to heaven. And they worshipped him, and they returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple blessing God. I'm struck by a few things in this passage. I just love the sort of supernatural um, things you see of Jesus. I love the fact that he's risen from the dead, like breaks death. I love the fact that he vanishes another point in the story. I love the fact that he has a real sense of just, or gives a real sense of his supernatural ability and his awesomeness. And yet alongside that, I love the fact that he chats, walks and talks, questions, discusses, challenges, he does life with people. And I love the fact that people can't leave those encounters unchanged. They can't keep quiet that they've met with Jesus. They can't not worship. I love the ending. They were continually in the temple blessing God. It's just amazing to see Jesus, this awesome, mighty God incarnate, humble himself and be with us and chat with his people and live alongside his people. And yeah, brilliant to see the impact that that has.